Hi everybody. So this video is about idea growth in an essay and how an idea evolves throughout the essay. My advice is to think of your essay as kind of like building a snowman. And when you build a snowman, you start with a very small snowball. And as you, you, you take that ball and you push it into the snow and it rolls and it rolls and it gathers more and more snow so that at at the end of the roll, you have you end with this huge ball. You started with a small ball, but you're ending with a huge ball. And that's kind of essay writing, okay? And I know this is a challenging concept, particularly because when you do a list thesis statement, you present the list, you know, a hero is strong and courageous. Body paragraph number one is strong, body paragraph number two is courageous, and then you just keep repeating those same terms. Well, at this point, we need to move beyond the repetitive, okay, to see how the idea evolves. So I'm going to pretend for a second I'm writing an essay about a hero. I have to define the term hero, and I'm going to say that my two points are that a hero believes in the good of others, that's paragraph number one, and paragraph number two is that he or he or she or they believe in the opinion of others value the opinions of others. So I have believe in the good of others, believe in that other people have the power to have, make good choices versus believe in the uh, have, value other people's opinions. So I can make a list thesis statement and just claim those two things. The problem is that then I become it becomes more repetitive. So what kind of big idea could I get? So I look at these two ideas and they're both about the hero kind of valuing other people. So what happens if I create a big idea like a hero promotes the power of others? Now the question is, how does that hero promote the power of others? Well, he, she, or they um, sees, believes that other people can make good choices. And then paragraph number two, believes in the opinion of others, like takes the other people's opinions and really like embraces them and encourages those people to move forward with those opinions or something. Um, so sometimes just even just changing your thesis statement to a big idea can help eliminate the repetition. Or you can still have a list thesis statement where you list paragraph number one and then paragraph number two in the thesis statement itself. That's fine. But then in the body paragraph, there needs to be an evolution of the idea. For example, if my body paragraph is that a hero believes that other people can make good choices, you know, encourages other people to make good choices. Well, in the conversation of my leader, let's say I use Martin Luther King, right? Martin Luther King sort of actively believes that other people can make the right choice, right? And I would use like letter from a Birmingham jail as my evidence and sort of how that, um, that letter really shows that he believes in others and that they, that other people can make the right choice. Well, I would say then at the end of that paragraph in the analysis of that evidence that that my, Martin Luther King is not just saying, hey, everybody, you can make good choices, but he's creating agency in those people. And by creating agency, he's really encouraging others to act upon their, their, um, their ideas. And that encourages growth of a community, right? So instead of just promoting silence, <laughs> Martin Luther King actively believes that other people can make the right choice and act upon that. So he is providing agency, he's providing power to those people. And in that, in that transition of power, right, the hero's not trying to hog the power. Martin Luther King never tried to hog the power. He tried to promote power in others so that our world's a better place at the end of the day. So whatever your paragraph idea starts at, it needs to start as a snowball but then grow into the bottom of a snowman, okay? How does the idea move, okay? You're starting with, you know, a hero believes that other people can make the right choice. And I'm gonna talk about Martin Luther King and how he believed in others and believed that they had the power to make the right choices. But then I'm gonna talk about, well, why is that so important? Well, because by giving people agency, by giving people power to believe in themselves, we can change the community. We are not promoting science. We are promoting, you know, constant action. We're actually not we, but Martin Luther King. Does that make sense? Again, the idea has to evolve. It, you just can't repeat the same concept 12 times. It has to move. Ideas are alive. All right. Remember, an essay is a conversation. It's an argument. You're presenting an argument and you need to 
you're, you have this strong idea and you're presenting it and proving it and saying this idea is powerful. How and why is it powerful? All right, I hope that helps. All the best.